From the cheetah, oh, repping everywhere we go. Everybody from the cool. Oh, this is like a music video. This is where we call it home. This looks like Missy Elliott back in the day. Like, um, what video was that? That's not I Can't Stand in the Rain. Was that that video? When she was in like the, the big garbage bag looking thing? Yeah, wasn't that her first video? Okay, anyways. Um, I have no plan for this video. I just decided decided to start shooting because it's been way too damn long since I've done so. And um, I'm really trying to challenge myself at this point because I'm sick and tired of it. At the beginning of every single video, I say, it's been a while, guys. The reason it's been like this for the longest time for the past year is because um, I haven't been. I haven't been very happy. So I don't want to feel fraudulent making these videos where I'm like showing you Dubai and showing you luxury and showing you like my new job and my new husband and making it look like life is so great when really inside I feel like I feel broken you know what I mean and, and it's not it has nothing to do with my marriage my marriage is great it's probably like the happiest thing I have going on in my life right now and listen there life can be so much worse once you have cleaned up your stuff and you fix your problems that's when you can be of service to other people so I'm trying to do both in one video, I guess. And I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here on YouTube and cry to you guys about <sighs> and a pipe burst in my apartment and like life is so hard. Like I'm, I'm not about to do that with you guys, but I just I want to come clean and explain why I have been gone for so long. And it feels very fake to me. Like you'll watch social media, you'll watch um, and I whistled, so you know what's true. But you'll see uh, you know, Instagram celebrities and these influencers who I literally work with for a living and they have this these personas online and everything looks great and you know you've seen the youtubers who a girl recently came forward and saying like it's all a sham all that you're seeing is a sham in her life that's what she's saying um, but I think a large part of it is yes it is very much a projected truth that we're trying to put on to people and I recently downloaded this app and I just regret doing it this this facetune app and then I started manipulating my body with it, I started manipulating my pores, getting rid of stray hairs and stuff, and then looking at the original picture, and then my picture, and I was like, I can't post this shit, like, I feel terrible, how is this helping anybody if I post this picture, and then people say, oh, you look great, but I, that's not what I actually look like, so it's not of service to me, and then showing people, oh, here's what I want you to think I look like, how is that of service to anybody else? Like I, so I just I had to step back from social media and, un, and understand what I want to do with it and what it, exactly my brand is that I want to put out. I guess you could say I've been going through kind of a identity crisis because recently married, it's been a year now, congrats to us. Um, it's been a year now and I haven't officially changed my last name for, for a few reasons because you know I just got my visa out here in Dubai. So to change my last name would have to change my passport, would have to change the visa, and it's just way too much money, one, and just run around paperwork, all this crazy stuff. So my entire social media presence is Dominique Bennett. My website is Dominique Bennett. If you Google me, all of my results will be under Dominique Bennett. So taking Dominique Bouchard now, which is a person that already exists, by the way, um, and already has a presence, I feel like I have to start all over again with this new... Dominique Bouchard presence and I know it's as simple as a name but it's 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 been my identity it's been my my name who I am my entire life and so that's another reason I haven't been on social media yet because I don't understand who Dominique Bouchard the wife the girl that lives in Dubai the girl with the new job it's been a year but I still don't understand who she is so this past year has been a lot of that, just way too much change, way too quickly, and not enough time um, taken to reflect on all of it. It's, it's really been a strain on me, and I'm like I already said, I haven't been my happiest. And my family depression is something that has affected a lot of my um, my family members. Um, so I see, I know what depression looks like. Even though, listen, it's not the same for every person, but I've seen what it looks like for those who've been closest to me and who I love. And uh, it's a fear of mine because knowing that it's something that is prevalent in my family, I'm, I'm afraid of having it, of being depressed myself. 
I'm ready to break out of it basically and I'm not saying that it's I'm depressed I haven't gone to any doctors or anything yeah I'm just knowing that I'm not in uh, the state that I should be that I'm used to being in uh, that I want to be in so basically this video which I have not planned I'm thinking it should be a challenge to myself and I'm making this so that I can be held accountable because it's one thing to finally shoot this video where I'm admitting these things to myself and to you guys saying you know I I'm not happy but I'm losing myself in, in the process of all of this so it's a challenge to take time to my for myself and discover who that person is again so and she was my one of her first videos was a challenge to herself her her what is it a year shameless year where she she told herself I'm gonna make these many videos a week these many tweets and blog posts and stuff and so it clearly works for her listen so maybe I'll do the same for myself 2016 I didn't make any resolutions I didn't really make any goals even I just I just told myself I want to feel happy so it's understanding what does that mean for me I will make weekly updates on my happiness project um, truly understanding who Dominique Bennett, Dominique Bouchard, Dominique Bennett Bouchard is. Um, I'm about to turn 25 next month, the quarter century. I'm willing to meet this new person who I'm becoming and shape her into the person I need and want her to be. So these weekly videos I think will help me out. Something, you know, it's not as fun as my usual videos where, you know, vlogs with Coulter or drinking tequila and stuff, but it's time to get real because I don't want to share videos with you guys where it's just happiness and fun and cussing at my husband sometimes but I, I want to get real with you guys too. If I'm going to do this, I want to do it properly. That's why I haven't been on YouTube because I, I just don't want to create this persona. But if you're going to see me, you're going to see all of me. You're going to love some of it, you're going to hate some of it. I do too. It's, but if I'm doing this, I'm going to do it authentically and to grow. So I don't completely understand what I want my YouTube channel to be yet. I know a lot of you love vlogs with Coulter. A lot of you like the natural hair stuff. Um, Dom does Dubai. That's cool. Like I have a lot, of, a lot of different things going on in my life. So I have a lot of different video content to bring for you guys. But I think that another large thing I need to bring is myself. Like I'm typically showing you everything out like externally, and I want you guys to meet Dom. So. Hi, <laughs> I'm Dominique Bennett Bouchard, um, and it's time to put myself out there and understand who it is I'm becoming, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this with me. So leave your comments below, like let me know where you are in your life, and uh, if you can relate to this at all, and if you have any advice especially, listen, I don't know shit. So if you've been through this, if you're going through this, um, or you've known someone who's gone through these things, what, what advice do you have? What, how did you handle these things? Alright, so, weekly. I feel like I end every video making a promise that I do not keep. Like, I'll be back next week and I'm not back next week, but I just explained why. So listen, I'm trying to do better, okay. Thanks guys.